hello everyone in this video we are going to see about classification of hydrophytes hydrophytes are aquatic plants warming in the year 1909 classified plants based on their water relations on the basis of water requirement and nature of soils the plants have been classified into hydrophytes mesophytes and xerophytes hydrophytes are plants which grow in the wet places are in water either partly or wholly submerged are called hydrophytes let's see the characters of hydrophytes hydrophytes have four different characters that are water retention flat leaves feathery roots and air sacs water retention there is no need for the plant to water retention like non aquatic plants there is no need for to spend energy to regulate transpiration which is the loss of water in the plant due to evaporation hydrophytes absorb water and gases over the whole surface and have no stomata the second one flat leaves when you see water lily and nymphaea the diameter of the leaf is nearly 12 inches so mostly aquatic plants they are having flat leaves which act as a flotation to a portion of the plant third category it is feathery roots hydrophytes are supported by water as compared to roots and stem structure most hydrophytes have roots that are small and feathery they are designed to take in oxygen from the water and since the plant is fully submerged in water at all the all the times there is less need for a long and thick root structure fourth one the presence of parenchyma cells that is air sacs many hydrophytes have air sacs or air chambers that help the plant float on the water surface of the water it is important to note that some aquatic plants will float slightly submerged in the water let's see about the hydrophytic classification based on the presence of plants in the water condition Uh, hydrophytes are classified into submerged hydrophytes floating hydrophytes and amphibious hydrophytes submerged hydrophytes are plants which grow below the water surface again okay. the submerged hydrophytes are classified into two different categories submerged floating hydrophytes and rooted submerged hydrophytes submerged floating hydrophytes best example ceratophyllum and utricularia they are in contact with water alone they are not only on the surface but just below the water surface the plants under this group are absolutely free from any necessity of transpiration they are found in the best lighted and best aerated part of the water the second category is rooted submerged hydrophytes this group completely submerged and are also anchored on the substratum or to the soil they are highly affected by the light penetration so this plants comes under shade loving plants they may have long internodes absence of palisade parenchyma presence of chloroplastids in the epidermal cells hydrophytes that are partially submerged have floating leaves 
with stomata through which gases can be exchanged in the plant plants. Best example are hydrilla and valisneria. Valisneria has an interesting pollination mechanism. The unisexual staminate flowers break off from the inflorescence and rising to the water surface and float on the water. The pistillate flowers elongate and reaches the surface of water where it remains until pollinated. After fertilization, the scape shortens and developing young plants under water where it completes its development. Second main category is floating hydrophytes. These plants float on the water surface or slightly below the water surface. Again, these plants are classified into free floating hydrophytes and rooted floating hydrophytes. The picture is Icarnea, that is Vengaya tamarai, best example for free floating hydrophytes. Free floating hydrophytes, they float on the water surface, they have contact with water and air but not rooted in the soil. A well known example, Pistia and Lemna. Pistia is Ahaya tamarai. Lemna has only one strand of root. Wolfia is entirely rootless. Next pass on to the rooted floating hydrophytes. In this category, they are anchored to the muddy soil at the bottom of the ponds and lakes. Best example, water lily, lotus and potamagetan. To prevent the leaves from being flooded with water, the petioles may be very long to adjust easily to changes in the water level. In the giant water lily, that is Victoria regia, the enormous leaves have a vertical rim to prevent them from being flooded. It's Nymphaea. The final category is rooted emergent hydrophytes. The plants in this group grow in shallow water with their underground parts in water are in water saturated muddy soil extending their shoots above the water surface so they are well known marsh plants or halophytes here partially they are below the water surface and partially the shoots are above the water surface this plant is sagittaria below the water surface it has dissected leaves but above the water surface it has normal leaves this is typha this is also a best example for rooted emergent hydrophytes other than that sagittaria and marsilia are also well known examples Sagittaria. Here you can see both dissected and well developed leaves. This Marsilia, a well known example for rooted emergent hydrophytes. In this pond ecosystem, we can see where the hydrophytes are present. Free floating hydrophytes are present on the upper surface of the water, example Icarnia and Pistia. Submerged floating hydrophytes, they present just below the water surface, best examples Utricularia and Ceratophyllum. Rooted submerged hydrophytes, they are rooted on the soil 
below the water surface best example hydrilla and valisneria they won't come out of the water surface fourth category rooted floating hydrophytes best example water lily and lotus they are rooted but come out of the water surface rooted emergent hydrophytes partially below the water surface and partially above the water surface this picture also indicates the pond ecosystem here you can see clearly the floating submerged rooted submerged rooted floating and rooted emergent hydrophytes and this is lotus and this is victoria regia largest leaves are present in victoria regia these are all the references thank you for watching this video